Without even turning a wheel, they were champions. Efren Lorena and co-driver Sara Fernandez crowned the 2022 ERC champions. Bright lights and glowing brake discs, Friday night for stage one, three goes round Zlin, rally town this weekend. Fastest, the Czech's most successful driver, Jan Kopecki, who beats Austria's Simon Wagner by 1.4 seconds. Tom Christensen was in the Czech Republic for the experience. He said he didn't learn much about grip and tyre choice before this off on stage three. Ken Torn's morning ended early. Too optimistic and a slippery right-hander, he headed into the trees at speed. The steering on his Fiesta had broken and he lost control again. After a neat 360, he landed well. The damage had to be fixed away from the stage. Newly crowned champion Efren Lorena set off on the stage three with too much intent and crashed off the road. The stage was stopped. The new champion and his co-driver, Sara, got out of the car. They were checked in hospital where they would stay overnight. Adam Brzezik was forced to stop in stage five. He dived under the bonnet to investigate a faulty turbo intercooler pipe. Once fixed, he was back up to speed and was pushing Norbert Herzig along the road to get to the end of the stage. But six minutes were lost. Simon Wagner ended Saturday in fourth place. Could have been better had it not been for this collision with a straw bale. He lacked confidence, he said. He picked the wrong tyres and dropped 40 seconds dealing with all of this. The grip was fickle. The weather came and went. Javier Pardo did well to escape this slippery off. Philip Mares slid around on Saturday morning and in the afternoon he was more his normal self. Four moments and incident in the morning but onto the podium and past Simon Wagner on stage six. The afternoon sun had dried the road for everyone. Eric Seiss was growing in confidence. He beat Jan Kopetsky's time in stage six. Seiss in a decent second place to end Saturday. Leading the way, the multiple Baron Czech rally winner, Jan Kopetsky, leading from first on the road with four more stage wins on Saturday. For the second day of two, it's all about gambling. Which tyres to bolt on the car to best deal with the fickle weather? An early landmark from Estonia's Ken Torn by winning the morning run over Pindola, the signature stage in Slin. But he was to pull over in stage 11 after an off that caused damage. He would go on to finish the stage, but finish for good one stage shy of the power stage. Sunday developed into an Italian battle for sixth place. This big crash for Alberto Battistoli ended it. His code of Fabia going deep into the trees, having turned around and causing the stage to be cancelled. There was a strong finish to the weekend for Adam Brzezik, rally leader early on Saturday morning, who won the power stage at its close. What might have been? Drama and disappointment in the power stage for Eric Seiss. So close to a podium until a puncture took his rear left. He had been right on the limit, up on the split at that moment, and looking at a podium until that happened. Fourth place for Seiss. Third went to Simon Wagner. He won stage 12 past Seiss because he had wet compound towers all around his car for the very first time of the weekend, he said. But midway through the power stage, he dropped into a ditch. 200 metres later, he was out. He dropped time, and at that point, thought he'd dropped off the podium as well. But he hadn't. Second, Philip Mares, helped by a stage win in stage nine. It was a soaking place, and Philip had the wet compound tyres to deal with it. Was it ever in doubt? Jan Kopetsky almost had this in the bag on Saturday night. His balance experience showed, half a minute in hand, he could manage affairs on Sunday. He wasn't tempted by the power stage bonus points. Another big win for the Czech.
one of the hardest Zlin victories for Kropetsky. He beats Mares by 37 and a half seconds in the end. 1.7 seconds behind we find Simon Wagner. Seiss settles for fourth, a big gap to Hertzig.